the previous neural networks tutorial had the threshold set to 1 so if we change it to a 0 and uh, try to run the application let's see what happens it will uh, not be able to find a line separating the zeros from the ones so the threshold is uh, zero and uh, we were unsuccessful in uh, looping through additional epochs until the error is equal to zero for all training vectors in the final epoch so what we do is we set uh, ws is equal to the threshold so w1 times y plus w2 times x is equal to the threshold and uh, gives us this uh, equation and this is the equation of a line so m is equal minus uh, w2 over w1 and b is equal to the threshold over w1 and since the threshold is 0 b is equal to 0 and uh, let me try to explain what uh, happened So if we change it back to uh, 1 and uh, run the application again so uh, when the threshold is equal to 0 b will be uh, 0 so uh, we'll have uh, y is equal mx so the line will uh, pass through uh, x is equal to 0 and uh, y is equal to 0 which means it will not be able to uh, separate the zeros from uh, this one since it will be somewhere here this uh, issue is uh, solved by adding a uh, bias a uh, third input equaling to uh, 1 with a weight of uh, w0 so uh, ws will equal w0 plus uh, w1 times y plus uh, w2 times x and if uh, ws is bigger than the threshold then the result will be 1 and it will be 0 otherwise and the objective will be to determine what weights in this case what uh, w0, w1 and w2 would lead to the target result equaling to the result for all vectors in the training data so we set uh, ws is equal to the threshold so uh, w0 plus uh, w1 times y plus w2 times x is equal to the threshold and this uh, gives us this uh, equation and the equation of a line is y is equal mx plus b so m will equal minus w2 over w1 and b will equal to the threshold minus w0 over w1 now uh, to implement this we'll uh, start by uh, creating a new project and we will uh, need the full jdk that i have it in uh, this directory since uh, we are using uh, JavaFX and uh, here we will have a uh, driver class with a main method and uh, this will be uh, driving the application and a uh, percept round an uh, artificial uh, neuron modeling a biological one and uh, since this will be a uh, JavaFX application it will extend from uh, application and uh, by doing that we'll have to add this uh, start method now uh, the perceptron will have uh, 
mostly the same code as uh, previous uh, tutorial the difference will be that the threshold here is uh, zero and for the end data I added uh, another input that is always uh, one and uh, for the initial weights this is a random w0 initially and the random w1 and the random w2 now uh, for the driver class will uh, define M and uh, B for the line that uh, separates the zeros uh, from the ones and uh, I'll pick up uh, the AND data from the perceptron and uh, we will uh, pick up the initial uh, weights and uh, instantiate a driver and a perceptron and uh, we will have an uh, epoch number counter and uh, this boolean error flag and we'll initialize it to a true and this uh, error and an array of uh, adjusted the weights and we will be in a loop while the error flag is uh, true and uh, we will have two uh, utility methods that uh, does uh, printing of the heading given an epoch number so it prints out uh, the weights and uh, the inputs and the target result and the result and the error and the weighted sum and the adjusted uh, weights and the print uh, vector will uh, print out the data below that uh, heading And uh, at the end of the logic in uh, main method, I will uh, call launch, which will end up uh, triggering a call to uh, start method, which uh, will display the JavaFX uh, window. So I will uh, set the title for that uh, window and. Uh, show it at the end of the logic now uh, back to the while loop in the main method I will uh, initialize the error flag to uh, false and the error to uh, zero before going into a uh, loop that uh, goes through the training data where we would uh, first uh, pick up the weighted sum for each uh, vector by calling uh, the calculate weighted sum on the perceptron instance that we picked up uh, here and uh, next we will uh, call apply activation function which would uh, return a uh, result and we will pass it this uh, weighted sum and uh, next we will use this uh, result to uh, pick up uh, the error so here we have the target result minus uh, result and uh, if we have an error then we would uh, stay in the while loop 
and uh, we uh, pick up the adjusted weights by calling uh, adjust weights on the perceptron instance and uh, next we would uh, call print uh, vector and uh, the weights become the adjusted weights and uh, after exiting this uh, while loop the slope m will uh, equal to uh, minus uh, w2 over uh, w1 and uh, b on uh, that line will uh, equal to the threshold over uh, w1 minus w0 over w1 and we will uh, print out the equation of uh, that line y is equal to mx plus uh, b now in the start method we will uh, have two types of data data of uh, type 0 in uh, series uh, 1 and of type uh, 1 in uh, series uh, 2 and uh, we will go through the training data and if the target uh, result is equal to uh, 0 then we will add it to uh, series 1 otherwise we will add it to uh, series uh, 2 And uh, in the title of that uh, JavaFX uh, window, I want to uh, print out the line equation and its uh, intersection with uh, y-axis and uh, x-axis. And uh, we will uh, define a uh, scatter uh, chart that have uh, those two x-axis and uh, y-axis that we defined here and uh, we will uh, set the title of that uh, chart and add uh, series 1 and series 2 of uh, data to it and uh, series uh, 3 of uh, data will be the line separating the zeros from uh, the ones and uh, we will have uh, those two points on that uh, line so x1 and y1, this is the first point, and this is the second point on the line, x2, y2. So we will uh, instantiate a uh, line chart, given the x-axis and the uh, y-axis from here. and we will instantiate a pane and uh, add to it the scatter chart and the line chart and uh, finally we will instantiate a new scene and set it as a stage scene and then show that uh, stage so this uh, should do it for uh, this class actually I am missing a uh, call to print heading passing in the epoch number starting from uh, 0 next uh, let's go ahead and uh, test run the application and make sure that it can handle this uh, threshold of uh, zero so we got the equation of uh, this line y is equal minus 
1.62x plus 1.79 and if x is 0 y is uh, 1.79 and if y is 0 x is 1.11 and uh, here we started from uh, epoch uh, 0 where the target result was uh, different from the result in all those uh, three vectors and it was equal in the last uh, vector and we went to epoch uh, 9 where the target result is equal to the result in all uh, vectors and we discovered this uh, equation of a line and uh, W0 is uh, minus 0 0.4, W1 is 0 0.22, and W2 is 0 0.36.